All right, Jeff here, back with um, some more guitar reviews. This set of guitars, all three, come from the same company. These are Andrew White guitars. You probably have seen Andrew White guitars advertised online through internet, other means, and Facebook, etc. And you've thought, well, I've never heard of them. I'd like to know more about them. Should I pull the trigger? And my answer in both of those situations is, I'm going to tell you about Andrew White, and the second answer to the question is, yes, pull the trigger. These are great guitars, all right? So Andrew White is a luthier in Morgantown, West Virginia, who's been making custom guitars for years, has a really good sense of design and sound in his guitars. He opened a plant overseas in Korea a few years back, and in that process, created his, what he calls his production guitars. Now, some people say, well, should I buy a guitar from overseas or not? Most guitars today are made overseas and parts of them are made overseas. And anything that's, of course, that you want to, that you can afford off, also is from perhaps overseas too. So put that aside. And now let's look and dive into these particular guitars. He's got in his production system, uh, four uh, types. He has a Freya, a Sibeli, a Eos, and what he calls his Decker's Creek guitar line. So the first one here that I have, and these are th three, these three are my personal guitars. I'm not being paid to do this review. I've not been asked to do the review. And these guitars have all been paid for by me with my money. So this is completely unbiased uh, guitar review. But the center guitar, this one right here, is called the Freya 102 BK Cutaway. It also comes with an Artec, as you see there, system, preamp system installed, as well as this neat set of crop circles on the fretboard. This guitar retails for about $1,000. You'll see it too for sale on his site for somewhere right around $750, $900, maybe something like that. Excellent playing guitar. I like it. It's made of solid Sitka spruce top and a Jehovah back and side. To your left here is one of two in his Decker's Creek collection that I use and have played. And... This guitar is absolutely fantastic. This is an acoustic guitar modeled after the old Martin and Gibsons and plays like a dream. This one is a solid Sitka Spruce and solid back and side Indian Rosewood. Wow. And it plays like you're playing chocolate, if you can play chocolate, right? I mean, it's that sweet playing a guitar. This guitar will run you right around $1,800, $1,900 on his site, and occasionally he'll have these marked down. I would recommend take advantage of that. To your right, farthest to the right, is another one of his guitars in the Decker's Creek system, series rather, and this is a Decker's Creek D2050 Solid Sitka Spruce with Sapelli or Sapil back and sides. You ask him what is Sapelli or Sapel? It's essentially equivalent of mahogany in tonal quality. So that gives you an idea of the three different types of woods, the three types of guitars that he has, and a little bit about Andrew White in general. When you go to order one, take a look at the guitar case. Very good guitar case. You can get that and have your guitar shipped comfortably. It's fully lined. I live in the Rocky Mountains in a very rural area. And my guitar made it from West Virginia through the snow, ice, cold, over a weekend on a truck, all the way into where I live. And it is, it came in with no issues whatsoever and plays sweetly. And by the way, it was this 2010 right here with the um, Sitka Spruce and solid Indian Rosewood back and sides that came through that weather. So it's done very, very well. I would encourage anybody who's interested in these to look at buying one, check them out, check out the website. You won't be um, steered wrong. And I think you'd really like whatever you find from him and play it. 
All right. See you later. Bye.